A while ago, I bought this flyback driver. This thing is awesome and it makes very cool high voltage arcs. But after driving a flyback transformer and playing around with it for a while, I noticed a smell. That smell. The kind of smelly smell. The smelly smell that smells. Smelly. And of course, that was the transformer burning out. Yeet! And that means only one thing, I have to build a better one. So I watched some videos how other people did it. Because I can't just build a haphazardly taped together transformer that just sort of works for the video and then fails afterwards. Oh, apparently no one on YouTube is interested in building a proper transformer that also works in the long run. And there's my video. Yeah, I tested the construction style of some videos and guess what? It didn't work. So maybe I should delete that when I complain about crappy transformers on YouTube. Anyway, since there's so much garbage on YouTube, let's build a proper flyback transformer that doesn't destroy itself when I use the CVS driver. And while I'm at it, I'm going to make a 1 kilowatt version with this giant transformer core. Instead of just one coil, I will have multiple coils. This reduces the voltage the isolation has to withstand. To isolate the transformer core, I made a shield out of 4mm thick glass fiber epoxy plastic. Glass fiber epoxy has a breakdown voltage of 10 to 13 kV per millimeter. So I hope 4mm is enough. And for the coils itself, I used 0.5mm plastic. Making the coils definitely took a long time and I think next time I will try to 3D print them if it's possible. At the end I had 4 coils, 1.5 cm wide and with some spacers because the 0.5 mm plastic is not thick enough to isolate against the high voltage. I then started winding the coils with 0.3 mm enameled copper wire. I made myself a very basic winding mechanism with a counter, but I had to turn this by hand, so making the coils took ages. I isolated every layer with four layers of baking paper. Together with the enamel on the wires, this should be enough isolation. I also made the primary from some plastic in the shape of the transformer core, and I used two times five windings of 1.5 square millimeter cable. However, that's only that thin because I only have a 300 watt driver and with a kilowatt it definitely needs thicker cable. And since this is a flyback transformer, I'm going to put some plastic spacers between the transformer parts. Because that's also the case with the small flybacks. For now I tested the flyback driver with a really crappy secondary and it worked so far. I put all the coils together and then I only had to put the whole assembly in transformer oil, else the paper isolation does not work. Finally the right container arrived as well after ages and I put the transformer inside, put screws in the lid for electrical connections and filled it with transformer oil. I also used my vacuum pump to suck out all the air that's trapped in the coils. And finally the transformer was done. And the arcs were super small, but I kinda suspected that with this crappy driver. My solution? An induction stove. I just put the transformer in series with the induction coil. This solution isn't perfect because you need a pot on the coil to activate the cooker, but I got really massive arcs. Unfortunately I wasn't able to measure the voltage, but after experimenting around a little bit, I got up to 5 cm long arcs. So I probably got around 50 kV, but I think this estimation is pretty inaccurate. I also made a Jacobs ladder to show how massive the arcs can get. I tried a bunch of things like putting cucumbers and pickles on the high voltage, but this didn't work. Someone in the comments suggested the flying oil experiment, this didn't work either. What partially worked was making Lichtenberg figures, but the high voltage just took the shortest path, which is basically a straight line. 
But in the future, I will probably use the transformer for actual useful vacuum and high voltage experiments. I don't really have any other ideas what to do with it. So if you have any suggestions, leave them in the comments. Until next time, bye.